Migrating from a Mac to Ubuntu should be rather easy. There are more similarities between a Mac and Linux than there are between Mac and Windows. Nevertheless, the Mac OS and Ubuntu are still quite different and require some learning before you are able to do everything you did on a Mac with your new Ubuntu desktop. In this video, I will try to present the main similarities and differences for you to focus on what you need to learn and make an efficient transition. The scope of this video is only to expose the differences. You will learn in more depth how to use your computer during the rest of the tutorial. Okay, so let's take a look at the desktop. Apart from the colors, you will see that it's similar to a Mac, except for a couple of details. The dock that is by default at the bottom of the screen on Mac OS is located at the left of your Ubuntu desktop and takes advantage of the fact that most screens nowadays are much wider than tall. The Unity launcher on the left is very similar to the dock. You have a set of applications that you can launch with one click and all open applications will have an icon there with a white arrow to show that they're active. The icon at the top of the launcher, the one with the Ubuntu logo on it, is the closest equivalent to the Spotlight feature in Mac OS. The top bar hosts the menus of the applications and the applets just like on Mac OS. Except that the equivalent of the Apple menu is located on the right rather than on the left side. If you have the HUD interface installed on Ubuntu, you will see that pressing the ALT key will open a search bar to look for menu options, similar to the search bar located on the help menu of the Mac OS. Among the differences between the two operating systems, you will see that your system folders are organized differently on your disk. When you open the home folder, you will see that your main hard drive is called file system instead of Macintosh HD. Inside file system you will see several folders that you will gradually get to know. The most important one is the home folder where all your personal files and settings are stored like the users folder in Mac OS. Another important difference that is worth mentioning is the way to install software on GNU Linux. On Macs you'll often download an installer mount it and run it in order to install applications. Although it's possible to install applications downloaded from the internet on Linux too, at the beginning you'll be using the software center. It works exactly like the App Store on Mac OS and iOS. We'll talk about installing new applications during the tutorials. Last but not least, the Alt command escape shortcut to launch the force quit applications does not exist on Ubuntu. Instead, you'll have something similar to the activity monitor called system monitor. With this program, you can spot and exit unresponsive applications without having to shut down the computer. Usually, the system monitor will launch automatically when an application does not respond. To launch it manually, Press the command key, type system monitor and launch it. Under the processes tab you can view all running processes and stop the ones that are not responding pressing control K. If you want to add a shortcut for this application you can do it on your system preferences. We will see how to do this in the tutorials. In the rest of this tutorial, I will also talk about equivalences and differences between operating systems, but most of the time I'll be talking about how Ubuntu works. I hope this was helpful to better understand your new environment, and please, write comments if there are things you would like me to add to this video.